This video demonstrates a novel technique for thermally modifying a suture and creating a dye stained rounded tip which allows one to perform the GAT surgery in an easier and more cost effective way. I typically use either a 4O or 5O clear monofilament nylon suture. After cutting the suture at a point of curvature, a marking pen is used to stain the tip. Cautery is then used to melt the tip of the suture which allows for ink to be incorporated into the blunted end. The residual ink is then washed off with BSS. A standard GAT surgery is then performed. After creating a goniotomy, Schlem's canal is cannulated using an ab interno approach. One can see the ink marked tip through the trabecular meshwork. Interestingly, the suture is more likely to stop at around 270 degrees. However, one can provide traction on the proximal end of the suture and create a near 200 degree trabeculotomy. The tip of the suture stays lodged into Schlem's canal, allowing for a limited trabeculotomy. The white arrow indicates the point at which the suture comes out of the canal. The suture can then be passed counterclockwise and the remaining 160 degrees treated. Note that the suture stays in the canal even in the area where the trabecular meshwork has already been opened. One can appreciate a diffuse episcleral venous fluid wave, which is confirmation of patency of the conventional outflow system. The cost of the suture is around $4, as compared to the cost of an iTrack catheter, which is around $700 to $800, and a Trab 360, which costs around $1,000. The suture GAT has tremendous implications for performing a cost-effective ab internal trabeculotomy in the United States as well as internationally. For more information, we publish this technique in the Journal of Glaucoma.